I'm Leroy Herring. You're watching Emmaus Road Podcast. We continue our discussion on how do I go from being in Adam. The Bible tells us that in Adam all die, in Christ all live. So all of humanity's dilemma is what has to take place to take me out of Adam put me in Christ. Now, every religion has its formula. You do this, you do this, you do this, you act this way, and if you do this, then you will achieve this. All religion is based on the performance, physically and mentally, of the individual adhering to that particular religious perspective. Only in Christianity do you have the concept of our God did something for us. Religion is totally based on what an individual adherent to that religion does for that particular God. Christianity is all about what our God, the God, the one God, based on Father, Son, Holy Spirit, has done for his creation and set up a way that his creation can spend an eternity with the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. That is done by grace, Ephesians 2, 8, and 9, through faith. John three sixteen says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son for whoever believes. All of this is based on a belief system, a grace system, and not a works mentality or a placing on me what I have to do how I have to perform to earn his trust, favor, and his grace, unmerited favor extended to me in my life. The word says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. So again, your backup verse is, in Adam all die, in Christ all live. Romans 3.23 for all have sinned, so that includes the entirety of humanity. So what did I do to be in Adam or to be a sinner? Nothing. What can I do, therefore, to be placed in Christ and be righteous? Nothing. Just as I did nothing except have a relationship with the Adam of Genesis, I can do nothing except to receive the grace and faith of the last Adam of the new covenant. <clears throat> Not based on how much I perform or do, but based on his grace through his faith that he gives us, not faith that I generate. Hebrews 12, 1 and 2 makes it explicit in saying that he is the author and finisher of our faith. So faith comes from him. Galatians 2, 20, Paul says, I live by his faith. I live by the faith of the Son of God. So even though I am saddled with this sin burden, I do not have to remove it. God has already moved, removed it by his action upon the cross, by him being my representative man of the new covenant. So he represented me. That's the reason Paul says some 119 times in his epistles, talking about being in Christ or in whom or in him. So I am to be in him. 
I must understand that when it says in Romans chapter 6, verse 3, that I am baptized into Christ, most people automatically read that as being baptized into water. That is not what the scripture says. I am baptized into Christ. God has to do that. Your reference on that is 1 Corinthians 1.30. He is the one that places me in Christ. Look at it on this basis. Man can only baptize into water. That's all he can do. He cannot baptize me into Christ. Man can only baptize me into water. God baptizes me into Christ. Jesus baptizes me into the Holy Spirit. If we get that understanding, you know, your backup verse says there is only one baptism, one Father, one Son, one Holy Spirit. What's that one baptism? Being baptized into Christ. Not being baptized into water. Most people look or will answer when you ask the question of uh, when you got saved, they'll say, well, I got baptized when I was nine years old. I got baptized when I was 36. I got baptized when I was 22. That baptism does not signify and guarantee your salvation an unbeliever can be <clears throat> baptized but the believer is baptized into Christ by God the Father that is how we get that knowing inside of us that is how we get that assurance in her in us that is how we have the guarantee or the Holy Spirit placed in us is because the Father baptized us into Christ, not because man baptized me into water. That is only an outward sign of uh, inward happening that took place by God. That is only for man to see God wants faith he gives us faith Habakkuk starts off with the just shall live by his faith most people quote that and just say the just shall live by faith no Habakkuk says the just shall live by his faith so we have to re receive the faith that God gives us and agree with what the truth of the Holy Spirit tells us is yes, you need a Savior. Yes, it comes by grace through faith. Yes, it comes by accepting Jesus as your Savior. <clears throat> no other religious entity. No other religious entity. Only Jesus. Bible says in uh, Acts 4.12, by one name do we receive access to the Father, and that is through the man, Christ Jesus. We'll continue our discussion on the next episode of Emmaus Road.